In episode 2 of No Longer Allowed in Another World, Tama and Annette struggle to drag a coffin with Sensei inside. Tama is frustrated with the coffin's weight and questions if Sensei is actually dead. Annette reassures her that Sensei is fine and just resting in peace. As they approach the town, Sensei wakes up and looks around, impressed with the new world. Annette suggests they go to the castle and have an audience with the king. At the castle, King Thomas greets them along with his daughter, Princess Charlotte. He invites them to rest in the castle for the night but has one condition, he wants to hear a pleasant memory from their travels. Sensei threatens to tell him about sleeping in a coffin, which confuses and scares Thomas. The king mentions that Charlotte is getting married soon and asks for their advice on who she should marry. Thomas introduces Gomez, a valiant warrior, and Otto, a wandering minstrel of love. He explains that monster activity has increased recently and he is too old to deal with the problem. He has decided that one of these two men will become Charlotte's husband and the next king. However, Charlotte has not yet chosen a husband. Thomas asks the travelers to help him decide. Sensei refuses to answer and accuses Thomas of being a terrible king. Annette apologizes for Sensei's rudeness, and Thomas brushes it off, saying that Sensei cannot help it if he is an otherworlder. That night, Charlotte talks to Sensei and asks if he is having trouble sleeping. Sensei reveals that he never sleeps well and has attempted suicide multiple times. Shocked, Charlotte reveals that she still cannot choose between Gomez and Otto as a husband. Sensei tells her to decide for herself what she truly wants. The next day, Thomas apologizes for making the travelers return and asks them to act as witnesses for Charlotte's decision. Annette is sure that Charlotte will marry Gomez, but Thomas thinks she and Otto are a better match. Charlotte stands before the man she has chosen and shockingly announces that she will commit double suicide with Sensei. Thomas is horrified, and Tama and Annette are confused. Charlotte explains that she realized Otto simply wanted to perform his newest songs for someone and did not actually care about her. She cannot marry Gomez because he smells. Thomas is furious and tells Charlotte not to be a fool. Charlotte stands up to her father and accuses him of not considering her feelings. She announces that she does not want to get married. Gomez then transforms into a demon and reveals his plan to acquire the kingdom by becoming its king and offering it to the Dark Lord, now intends to kill everyone. Sensei interrupts and asks Gomez to kill them first so they can commit double suicide. Gomez agrees and attacks, but Tama jumps in to fight him off. Tama uses her cat kick and cat punch moves, but Gomez does not seem to be affected. Sensei continues to provoke Gomez and asks him to kill them quickly, but Charlotte changes her mind and declares that she wants to live and protect the people of the kingdom. Annette creates a barrier of light to protect Sensei, and Tama uses her wildcat strike move to defeat Gomez. The king apologizes to Charlotte for his behavior. Charlotte forgives him and declares that she will talk to him about the kingdom and their family from now on. Sensei laments his failure to die again. Sensei, Tama, and Annette leave the castle, and Charlotte reconciles with her father and becomes the new queen. Tama wonders if Charlotte will be okay, and Sensei says she made the decision for herself, so they have nothing to worry about. Sensei also comments on the beauty of women who stand up on their own two feet. Tama tells him to walk on his own two feet too. And that's it for this episode, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.